you know, you got to remember who the bosses were. Mr. Catroni, mm -hmm. Mr. Venzano, Vic and Frank, and you know, these were the own, they owned the nightclubs in Montreal. So were they known by people working in bars? Did you know, like, would cross Mr. Catroni, you'd say, hello, that's him. Oh, there's people at the club. You'd say, you come in, he's sitting in the back. Hi, Mr. Catroni, how you doing? Fine, go do your show. You know, you, you, the mafia, they run their club. They're sitting in the back of the club. You come in, when you sign your contract, you go to his office, you sign. No trouble, no. They don't, they're business people. They, they're not there, you know, they didn't bother the girls in the show. They, it wasn't like that, you know. He's sitting in the back, he's watching. He's watching his cash. He's watching what's going on, you know? And at that time, too, got to remember, I think it was that, I don't remember which party was in, but, you know, there was, the cops would come in and drink on the cuff, you know? they come in and get their little bottle and leave, and, you know? So everything, you know, just like you hear today about, now they want to know about, uh, the construction and all this stuff that's going on now, well, that all started way back then, you know? And, they're, and like the mayor said, he's upset because, why? Because they show the, the, all the, 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 the mafia bosses sticking money in their socks and then they're, they're things like, hey, that was good, listen, you know? I was invited to dinner to Frank Catroni's house. I went with my husband. When I got married, he gave me my wedding reception. How come? How did he? Because he was friends with my husband. They were friends. Yeah, well, you know, when you say friends, if you're if you're a good waiter, yeah, you know, and you, he hears that you got married, he'll give you a wedding. He gave me a wedding gift. He gave me a reception. He said, hey, Rouge, you're good, you know, you're a good waiter, you're always good. I said, Miss Swing, well, then, yeah, gave me a wedding reception. And, and his sister Rose, I know her still to this day. You know, so, I used to go to her, they lived in uh, St. Leonard. So I was invited, and my, my best girlfriend, her husband, was part of the, part of the mafia. So, and, and we, her and I ended up being moving together in Ville d'Anjou. We bought a duplex together. And so we, we used to see things that were going that didn't bother us, you know. It, you, 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 you see something, you don't get involved in it, you know. You, as, long as, as long as you mind your business, that's the way show business is. You don't go and just see what other people are doing, you know. And I guess they mind their own business. They do. They're, they're, you don't, they don't bother you. They own the club. They, you come in, you got your contract. Go in the office and get your contract. Sign your contract. This is what you're making for the week. You have two shows a night, Friday three, Saturday three, Sunday three. Sunday night, come in, he's got your envelope ready. It was a pleasure working, doing show. I'm gonna have you back, there you go. All the club owners, all of them were in, cahoots with them. Everybody had to pay off. Everybody had to pay off. 